Welcome to Creative Edge Techniques. This monthly tutorial will accompany each and every Creative Edge article that I write, showcasing and explaining one of the techniques that I used. In this month's Creative Edge, each of my designs use what I like to call color tapestry st sticks. They're like these here. Wonderful color range and exciting color combinations. Color tapestry sticks are color enhanced Midolino extender shorts. They are simply wrapped with yarn to create beautiful blending of color to use to create artful structures for flowering. Now, let me show you how. The ingredients you'll need are first, Midolino, aluminum wire, or you can also use 18 gauge here. You need bullion wire, also some Yugo dashes, and of course, a wide range of colors in yarn. So just remember that. The spine or the backbone to this structure is creating one of these. This is not unlike the Middleino extenders, but they're shorter. And I actually demonstrated this in the raffia root structure. So it's very similar. So what you're gonna do with this one is start out with, I, I prefer the 18 gauge green wire because they are less expensive, I think, than the aluminum wire. And then I'm gonna take several Middleino and cut it so that the tips of the wire is visible, but you're gonna reduce it into the middle so that it fattens up through the middle. So you're just gonna kind of graduate the length so that it fattens up in the middle. Because they're shorter pieces than your usual Middleino extender, you want the, the sort of the transition from long to short to be quite extreme so that it fattens up through the middle. So something like this. I'm gonna take a half a tab of U glue dash and I'm gonna put that right there through the middle, peel. And I'm gonna use this combination of yarn that I have here. I'm gonna start out with a black and I'll actually double up and work my way to the end of the middle lino and bring it back. And as you can see, by using actually the fiber, the yarn, to do the wrap around, initially around to keep this in place, the middle lino and the wire in place, you are actually fattening up this spine, this basic foundational mechanic. So you get a good start on that, the fattening. So I'm gonna just put that to the middle and back on that piece of U-glue that I started with. So we have this. And then what we're gonna do is now start to, to color this Middleino extender short. And again, I'm gonna start out by doubling it up, the black, because it's gonna be primarily black with the green and the purples and the, the turquoise. So I'm gonna start out by putting the, the U-glue at the tip, but also another U-glue down a little further on down the spine. And I'm gonna start it down on the lower U-glue and bring it up to the top and then start spinning it. So this way you get the real thin tips and it fat, fattens along the way. So at some point, 
I'm going to start to introduce the green so that there's a little bit more color blending so it's not just a separation of one color to the other that it starts to blend. So I'm going to start including the green right about in here so that now I have actually sort of a triply so that you get that little bit of stri striation of green to show up against the black. And I think what I want to do is go increase the amount of green a little bit more so that it transitions from that and I'm actually putting another piece of U-glue right there so that I can actually add extra two more ply of the green so that now it becomes more maybe a little bit more green with the black stripes in it. And then I'll get back to a little bit of black to finish along with the green. So that you can just make all kinds of variations so that the blending is entirely up to as it happens. I think that's really a lot of fun when you can create something that then sort of evolves in your hand. So what I want to do is to get rid of the green now and go all black. And add the U glue at the tip so that you can sort of finish off at the tip, bring it down, put another piece of U glue so that you can end this color combination of green to black over that U glue. So this is where I'm going to use a little bit of bullion, just a little bit, so that you can sort of tame over that area so that it doesn't fray right there. So now I'm going to go in and add a little bit more color. So this time we're going to use the purple. And so this is where it just gets fun. So I'm going to add another U glue wherever you attach the new set of color. You just want to start out with the U glue. And I'm just going to randomly wrap over the that some of it. Some of it tight to build up that color over the area. And then maybe go a little bit looser. Go back and forth a little bit, the crisscross. I'm hoping that there's a transitional color that happens fairly soon so that you get that nice array of purple to the teal. So I'm going to take another U glue and over that, I can go to where it starts to turn a little bit more teal so that that introduces that combination right there. So this is where, again, you can kind of go back and forth a little bit so you get a nice blending again. But you can tell that it's almost impossible to do it perfectly uniform or that one exactly like the other, unless you happen to use just one color. And so this is why it's really a, almost like painting. You're putting one pigment over the other and overlay is where you see some interesting combinations of one color against the other, changing and evolving to another set of color combination. And so to me, it's a little bit like painting with pigments except for you were doing it with we're doing it with yarn with 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 fiber so that's why we're calling this the color tapestry stick because it has a character of tapestry as in fiber and it gives you really a very cool look that in in alongside some of these others it gives you almost a kind of a 
sort of the cultural blending of colors that are significant in, in different, different cultures, different groups of people around the world. You bring a little Gives you character. To read this month's full article, please visit hitomigilliam.com slash creative edge. You'll be able to see the finished designs and read the accompanying article for more insight and for the list of plant materials and supplies used to create each of the three pieces. Also look for my full start to finish tutorial on how I built and flowered the second design from this month's article. Back again is a limited number of signed 8x10 prints from this month's article. Printed on a high quality 320 GSM photo paper, each print will be hand numbered and signed. This month's print features my second design entitled Rise. And please consider supporting my channel by liking this video and subscribing for future content. Oh,